So, I mean, ultimately, this has been, like, a great environment for, like, raising the kids, you know. Yeah, how is living living in this house with Steve kind of as this surrogate family member in a way? Like, how has that changed, like, your own experiences? Oh, I'd You be, know, what's it like living with... Oh, I'd be dead by now if I didn't live here. Why? I just, that's uh, how I believe. I... The, this has been the stability in my life, and it's been the stability in my kid's life. And it's, uh, I mean, it's just been amazing. I've actually stayed married to a woman longer than six months, which I didn't think was possible. I really... Um, Is that because of Steve's influence? or just... I think it's just the home environment. It's just the stability of, you know, as everybody calls it, the farm. I never have. You know, if people say, where do you live? I never knew it as better farms. I always knew it as the old hippie place. You know, so when I say to people, you know, they where do you live? I say, Cottage Hill. Well, where? I go, the old hippie joint. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, everybody knows where and, that and is. And then the stories begin about, oh, the girls used to garden naked. And I go, geez, I'm late. And you know, as always, I'm a day late and a dollar short. But um, and I can't get her to garden naked. <laughs> she knows we don't even have a garden. I don't garden. like to garden. <laughs> <laughs>